Hi, my name is Katie and I'm an education specialist at the Great Plains Zoo and welcome to Virtual Bookworms. Today we are going to read Is a Camel a Mammal? I'm the cat in the hat and I'm writing a book. It's all about mammals. Come on, take a look. From the fruit eating bat to the smart chimpanzee, from the moles in their holes, from the seals in the sea. From raccoons to baboons, I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind if I do. All mammals breathe air and are warm to the touch. Mammals grow hair, some a lot, some not much. Their hair can be soft, like the fur on a kitten, or the wool from a lamb you knit into a mitten. Their hair can be hard, like the small hedgehog spines, or the dangerous quills on these two porcupines. Mammals live on cold mountains and hot burning sand, deep down in the oceans, and on dry land. They can hop, jump, and swim, or glide on the breeze. They can walk, run, and climb, or swing up in the trees. They are full of surprises, of that I have no doubt. Is a camel a mammal? Read on to find out. What's the world's smallest mammal? I've brought one for you. It weighs less than a dime. It's this cute pygmy shrew. What's the world's largest mammal? I knew you would ask. You can figure it out if you're up to the task. Find some elephants, each weighing 12,000 pounds. Weighing elephants is just as hard as it sounds. When you've got 27 stacked up on a scale, you've come close to the weight of a single blue whale. The stupendous mammal, mammal lives under the sea, and its baby, when born, weighs two tons more than me. Here's a fact about whales that I learned from the speeches. When one jumps out of the water, we say that it breaches. And speaking of babies, a hippopotamus baby, a son or a daughter, must swim right away because it's born underwater. And these bobcat kittens have soft furry paws, but hidden inside them are very sharp claws. Baby bats are called batlings, and bat moms, I hear, give birth to just one little batling each year. When a mom armadillo has babies, you'll find she has four. They're all boys or all girls, just one kind. Each baby's op opossum's the size of a bee. 18 can fit into a teaspoon, you see. Kangaroos, bandicoots, and wallabies have pouches to carry their babies with ease. Mammals come in all colors and this helps protect them. They're designed so their enemies cannot detect them. The snowshoe hair will turn white when it snows from the tip of its ears to its pink little nose. But in spring when the snow melts, its fur turns to brown, it can hide then because it blends into the ground. Skunks have black and white fur that warns, stop, stay away. But if someone keeps trying to get them to play, they will stamp, then let loose with a foul-smelling spray. Skunks tend to lose lots of fun playmates that way. The polar bears, walrus, sea lion, and otter spend most of their time of, in their home in the water. A mother bear snuggles right down in her cave with two little bear cubs, who are both named Dave. They sleep through each winter, it's spring when they wake. It's called hibernation, the sleep that they take. A giraffe, cow, or bison has horns on its head. Caribou, moose, and reindeer have antlers instead. Horns stay on forever, but antlers, I hear, fall off just like fidwicks, the same each year. Some mammals eat birds, reptiles, insects, and fish, and some before prefer plants as their favorite dish. Pandas eat mostly grass, called bamboo. Koalas eat only one leaf that they will chew. Tigers and wolves can go days without food, but it tends to put them in a very unfriendly mood. Lion, tiger, jag Lion, tiger jaguar, cheetah, the biggest cats you will ever meet of. Ant eaters can find time to play. They eat thousands of ants every day. You, might, you may think that cheese is what mice like to eat, but they really eat seeds such as corns, oats, and wheat. Carnivores love juicy meat. Herbivores love plants to eat. Omnivores we do recall, like meat and plants, they eat it all. 
Now here is a question I want to ask you. Is a camel a mammal? You're right, it's true. They're the ships of the desert. They're called that, I know, because camels take people where they want to go. Across hot desert sands or through cold icy snow, with its four padded feet, it can walk without sinking and go on for days, even weeks without drinking. Long, heavy eyelashes, nostrils that close, keep the sand out of its eyes and nose. My book about mammals is almost complete. There are just two more mammals I want you to meet. They're right here in this room. One has brown eyes, one blue. These mammals are two of my favorites. They're you. Yes, people are mammals, amazing but true. Oh, and cats and tall hats, well, yes, we're mammals too. Hi everybody, today I brought a mammal with us. This is Fiji and she is a chinchilla. Chinchillas are found in one place in the world, and that is the Andes Mountains, all the way in South America. Now our book talked about what makes a mammal a mammal. And the biggest thing is that she is covered in fur. And she has some very special fur going on. She is the softest animal in the world. Science tells us that. So for every piece of hair that she has, it grows out of something called a follicle. Humans have those too. We have about one or two hairs coming out of each of our follicles. She has about 70 hairs coming out of each of her follicles. So her hair is really, really dense, and that also makes it really, really warm, which makes sense because she lives up way in the mountains where it's very, very cold. Now, although that coat keeps her really warm, it prevents her from getting wet. If she gets wet, it takes a long time for her fur to dry. So to keep her safe instead, when she needs to be clean, is we give her dust baths here at the zoo. And that dust is made out of a volcanic ash from where she comes from in South America. And she gets that dust all in her body and then she shakes it out to get out anything that is making her dirty. Now, we see her big long whiskers and her big ears. Those help her stay safe in her habitat. Her big ears help her hear any predators coming, and her whiskers help navigate her space. When she needs to get out of the outside or hide from a predator, she will go into caves and under rocks. And since it's so dark there, those whiskers help her see her space. Now, she also has a really good tail here, and that tail helps her balance when she is jumping. She can jump just about six feet, so pretty far, taller than me, or longer than me at least. That helps her run away from her predators. Now, she is absolutely a prey animal. We know that because of her big ears, like I said, and her eyes. So her eyes are on the side of her head, so she is going to run and hide. If an animal has eyes on the front, they are on the hunt, so they are a predator. She really only eats one thing, and that is grasses and hay. So that's her only thing that she eats in the wild and here at the zoo. So, Thanks for coming by today and I hope you have a great day.